Indeed, we've got a little cub that's so fat his legs are splayed apart and was eating the tail of the zebra, which is now decided is not full. But if we look at Amber Eyes, who's just standing up to the right here, we can see there are no suckle marks there. There's nothing, no milk whatsoever, no suckling marks at all. So she can't have this cub at the moment. I don't know which female has a cub out of this pride, but none of them that I can see so far have any signs that they've been nursing a cub in the last week or so, which is really strange. It's interesting just to see. So I don't think Ambires can possibly be the mother of that cub, unless they've lost this cub and she's lost her milk, but there's not even any balding around there. Any lioness that would have had a cub within the last three weeks will have balding still. The hair doesn't take one day to grow back, so very surprising that she doesn't have any signs. Maybe it's one of the other females that's within this group, but I have no idea who this little cub belongs to and who's the actual mother of it. Really strange to see though, because I wonder where that cub came from and what's sort of happened to it since and whether or not it was even from the Inkuruma Pride, which begs another question as to who it could be. Like I say, I think we've got to just be patient and wait and see who exactly is going to be the one that brings out this cub again and actually sees it. We see it suckling on that individual animal. Then that will answer the questions that we have around this. But Ambise to me does not look like she could be the mother of that cub. There is in no way any sign of suckle marks or even milk that's being generated on her tummy at the moment. See how she's watching the male. The male came around for a little bit and just came to see what was going on here. And then he went back and lay down. But it's so cool just to be spending time with the Nkuma Pride at the moment. Loving the fact that we're seeing them more and more often again. And that they're spending so much time with us in this area. Now let's see this female here. So I'm going to say, you're wondering if they're, still, if they're so full, would they still go out and hunt? Well, yes, there are opportunistic lions, so they will be, take any opportunity they can get. So like I said earlier, if a buffalo walked past here or a, another zebra, they could then potentially try and hunt that. Um, being as full as they are right now, I don't think so, but you never know. I have seen lions... Oh, you're right there, Ferg. <laughs> okay. Ferg's just had a little moment, a little cough there. Um, but I have seen lions on a buffalo kill absolutely full and fat and can't move and another buffalo arrived and they killed two of them. So it, it, it's just an opportunistic thing. They will hunt if the opportunity presents itself, but they're not going to actively go looking for food now. They're going to be far happier just sitting here in processing what they have caught and, and, and be able to then just feed off what they have. I don't think they're actually going to end up going and actively hunting tonight. I think tonight's going to be just all about digesting food and we'll find tomorrow they'll then move around again. Look at this one with its leg. It's got this whole leg here that it's busy feeding on. Everybody else is trying to find scraps. All the adult lionesses and one little cub has found itself the prize piece which is the entire leg of that zebra and you can see lots of meat still on there. You're never going to finish all of that but well certainly you're going to try. And that little cub's quite feisty. It's been growling at all the adult females. It's been causing quite a bit of trouble. So it's interesting just to watch the dynamics between them. So the lioness at the back is the one with the two colored or the opaque eye on her right eye. So her left eye is absolutely fine, but her right eye is developing that sort of opaqueness and that cataract almost. So it looks like she's not going to be seeing out of the right eye as well as she used to, that's for sure. So that's her. Now, Let's check her belly. No, she doesn't have any suckle marks that I can see either. I wonder. It's such a mystery, this little cub. Out of nowhere it arrives, and then there's no suckle marks that we can see. And, and like I say, even if that cub had not no longer been alive, there would still be evidence that those females had suckled at some point. And there's just no evidence at the moment that I can see. Given that Ali only saw that cub about two weeks ago, they would still be balding around the teats. Well, let's see. We'll sit a little bit longer and try and see if I can't look at every single one of the five lionesses and work out what's going on. And 
these lionesses seem like it's going to be time to start grooming and finishing off the last and so we'll spend a little bit longer here while we do that let's go to james henry who has got animals that we don't see here with an animal that's being eaten right now <laughs> 